Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Scorpion. First, I want to start out by saying Joe Work TV. I told you so. You knew damn well Sierra was not going to sell 200,000 copies. She only sold 80,000 copies according to HitsDailyDouble.com, pushing her in a number three spot, being beat by Hannah Montana, and Chrisette Michelle taking the number one spot. And I'm so proud of Chrisette Michelle because I really love this album, and I'm glad y'all told me, do an album review on it, do an album review on it, because now I'm a fan of hers. You know, the first, when I first heard about Chrisette Michelle, you know, they was like, oh, she's only 23, but she's an old soul, and she's into that jazz stuff, and I'm like, ah, I'm not listening to that. But if you really give this album a listen, it's really different from the, um, the previous singles that you heard from the last album. So congratulations to Chrisette Michelle. And Sierra, you know, that's kind of bad because Chrisette Michelle did not even have any big promotion. And your commercials was on MTV, your commercials all over BET for the Rhapsody thing, and you only sell 80,000 copies? Come on. Come on. You should have responded to Gary Hilson. Maybe people would have been more interested at buying this album. But, um,. Also, a good thing for Sierra is that she's going on tour with Jay-Z. So they'll be going to 10 cities. I don't know what cities they're coming to. All I seen was Vegas, and that was July 3rd and 4th. So look out for the tour dates. Sierra leaked it on her Twitter yesterday that she's going on tour with Jay-Z. And, you know, will people be going to see Jay-Z or will they be going to see Sierra? And who's going to open for who? <laughs> Let me stop fucking with the Sierra fans, because y'all be, be like, oh, you so bipolar when it come to her. I just love to have fun with this. This is fun. Now, one thing I want to say is, um, oh, my God, what did I have to say? I forgot what I had to say. Maybe it wasn't meant for me to say, but once I think about it, I will say it. Um, oh, I forgot. Anyway. We'll be we'll be coming back to Sierra, hopefully. But, Joe, now you, I want you to make a video saying... Scorpion, you were right. You were absolutely right. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but you know, you went out and bought six copies of that album. You know, it's a good album, but ain't nobody buying no album with no leak tracks. Only the real fans who were the 80,000 supporters that went out and bought it. Lala gets into a fight in Denver with the fans. I don't know what the hell, no. Lala said, you know, they were saying racial slurs. They were, like, kicking the back of a chair and everything. But come on, when you are on the, um, you're, when you're going to the home team, you can expect some of that antagonizing stuff to go on. But with the racial slurs, that was a little bit too far, and she should have been ready to whip somebody's ass if they kept hitting her chair and all of that. But, you know, the cameras only show her leaving the venue, which to me was just trying to show that she was an angry black woman. And, you know, they were kind of wrong about that. But, come on. Again, anytime you go to the home team, you can expect that to go on. Ex Destiny's Child, they're going to come up in Philly wearing Lakers. You know they're going to get booed? Come on. Kenya Martin mother was told by Mark Cuban that her son was a thug. Now, that's one thing you don't do. You don't get up in nobody's mother's face and tell them about their child. That was bad. That is wrong, Mark Cuban. I don't care how upset you get. So if I was Kenya Martin, he, you better be expecting an apology from Mark Cuban or you're going to whip his ass the next time you see him. You don't disrespect nobody's mother. You don't disrespect nobody's mother. As I go walk with somebody disrespecting my mother, you know I got my little notes with me out here because I don't have my laptop no more. I'm recording on my little tripod and my recession camera and stuff. So, um, yeah. Another thing I wanted to talk about is moving out. I know I've, I've been telling you guys that I'm, I'm ready to move. I'm ready to get back out there. But then, you know, you run into somebody that God makes it happen. And, you know, we were talking and stuff. And she made me realize that now, right now, is not the time that I should move out. And to, to still save my money, but not to, not to get out the house right away. Just save, save my money and stay here. And then once I'm really, really ready, then I should get out. And, you know, I say God made you made me bump into you today because I heard her loud ass voice with my headphones on. I'm listening, you know, to my girl Janet and stuff. And then I hear my name and I look over to my left and it's my um, my sister girlfriend, you know, and we talked for about a half an hour on 10th and Market on why I should not leave the house. <laughs> 
we talked for ten for ten thirty minutes on ten for market on why I should not move out. So I'll be staying here. And a lot of you guys, I'm surprised y'all like, oh, don't you can't move out because you know your family is a part of the show. But who said I wouldn't be tape? I wouldn't be coming back here doing any tapings. I'm just ready to get out on my own. The best thing she told me though is. If you move enough for privacy, then get a hotel room. But I, I don't want to spend, you know, $100 for no hotel room and all of that, you know. So, hey, but I guess that is the best thing to do if I want to do that. Because I'm not bringing nobody here. What else did I have to talk about? Um, I'm not interested in talking about Eminem and Nick Cannon. I'm not interested in talking about that. Oh, but I do need you to subscribe to my old YouTube channel, Scorpion Show. I'm having problems with YouTube and approving my videos for the ads, you know, the ads that play on the side of the video and that comes up on the bar. You know, they're, they're taking forever to approve my videos. And on my other account, as soon as I upload a video, the ads are playing. And they keep telling me, they keep sending me to this damn... Um, partner help center thing they like why do you keep sending this because y'all not helping me out so now until they get it fixed i need you guys to keep to subscribe to scorpion show where i will be uploading videos on the weekend because i noticed that when i upload the videos on the weekend they're not approving the videos and that's really making me upset because they fucking with my money so um please subscribe to scorpion show we are quickly approaching 10,000 subscribers, 450 subscribers away. Please tell your friends to subscribe. I was up all last night, well, not all last night, but I was up last night promoting. So if you can help tell a friend to subscribe, please do so. If you can post our videos on your MySpace page, if you can post them in the MySpace bulletin, as a uh, Facebook bulletin, as a Twitter bulletin, you're helping the Scorpion Show out. So please support us. Thank you so much. I'll talk to y'all soon.